G'day mate, Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching. Welcome back to another Whiteboard Wednesday. Now this was going to be the last video in our Energy Systems series. However, I thought I need to do one more video before I do the last one just to frame a few things and today we're going to be talking about muscle fiber types and how that influences your energy systems, when energy systems are used and the like. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, muscle fiber types. This here is the fifth video in our energy systems uh, series, and this was going to be the last video. I was going to talk about the integration of all of the different energy systems and how this applies to training and racing. However, as I was thinking and putting that video together, I thought I cannot do that video unless I cover fiber types first. So what I wanted to do today is dig into muscle fiber types and how that has a wee impact on a few things. So this video is targeted at coaches and athletes uh, at a basic level so you develop an understanding of what this actually means and how you can utilize it planning your training and racing and when we talk about our energy systems. So in a nutshell, in our body we have three main fiber types. Now muscle fibers are the little parts that make up the bigger muscle. Okay, You can think about it as a uh, a rope. Inside a rope there's lots of little different cords or threads and that whole thing makes one big rope. So if you thought of, think about this as your muscle, this is looking at it from the side and then if we cut the muscle in half and look down the end of it, there would be all these different fibres. All of these different fibres. And these different fibres have different characteristics. So we've got a type 1 muscle fibre which are quite small and these are our slow twitch muscle fibres. These here are full of mitochondria, they've got a big blood supply to them, and they're actually quite red in colour because of myoglobin, which is a little protein that holds on to the oxygen in the cell. This can be thought of as your red meat, your steak. Very red because it's largely made up of type 1 muscle fibres. Moving over here, we've got type 2A muscle fibres. Now these are what are called fast oxidative muscle fibres. And these are a combination of a, a few, quite a few mitochondria, but also a big capacity to produce energy anaerobically through the anaerobic glycolytic energy system. And they're quite big as well. And then finally, right down the end here, We've got our type 2 X fibers. Now, often you'll see these fibers explained or called type 2 B fibers. Now, these are not actually type 2 B fibers when they were in a human. It was a, when they were originally discovered in mice, the scientists, long story short, the scientists thought that these are what humans would have as well, or they looked quite similar to human fast twitch muscle fiber, but then they just discovered type 2X, and that is actually what we have. Type 2B fibers, which you'll see all through textbooks, all of the articles uh, and videos online, a lot of people call them type 2B fibers, but when we're getting down to the nuances of them, they're not actually the same thing. But anyway, these are our really fast twitch muscle fibers. These are our high intensity sprint fibers. These are the ones that make uh, athletes run jump and throw very far. Now they're very fast at producing energy but they fatigue very quickly. They hardly have a blood supply to them and because of that their colour is quite white. So you can think of these muscle fibres as chicken breast. Chicken breast is white because it doesn't have a big blood supply to it because they are fast twitch muscle fibres. That's why chicken can't fly very far but if you think of like the legs of the chicken, chickens can run quite a long time and they're darker meat because they've got more slow twitch muscle fibers. Now when you were born, you were born with a distribution of muscle fibers based on genetics. And this is why some people are better at different kinds of sports naturally. However, they can be trained. If you 
do a specific type of exercise that stresses these different muscle fibers, there is a transition. So think of muscle fibers rather than this, this, or that, but a, somewhere on a continuum. These, these different muscle fibers all down through here that have different amounts of the different characteristics that these different muscle types uh, present. So if you can think down here, uh, an endurance athlete might have lots of these red fibers in here, but they'll obviously have some of their type 2A and a couple of type 2X. Down the other end here, a sprinter is going to have a lot of these green fibers. I've, I've drawn them green there, they're obviously not green in the body, but more a white color. But lots of these are type 2X muscle fibers, very fast twitch, good for explosive production. And then all through here, it's going to be something in between. Now, when we are exercising, if you can imagine here, this here is can be thought of as speed, power, low speed, low power here, through to high speed, high power down here. Now, as we progress and get faster and faster or work harder and harder, different muscle fibers are recruited at a different time. So when you start exercising at a low level, at a slow speed, so you start jogging along, you start by recruiting your type 1 muscle fibers, your slow oxidative fibers. And there's enough, and if we remember, this is where all the mitochondria is. So there's a, there we're producing enough energy aerobically to meet demand. Then as we get a bit faster, we have to work a bit harder. We just increase our speed. We start to recruit for the first time some of our type 2A muscle fibers. So we start to produce a little bit more energy anaerobically. We've still got a large proportion happening aerobically, but this is where we call our aerobic threshold. So we get that first increase in blood lactate. It's not much, very sustainable, keep going, but it just signals that we've started using some of our type 2 muscle fibers. Then when we hit anaerobic threshold over here, we're sort of at the maximum rate that our type 1 muscle fibers are working, and we get a big increase in our type 2 fast oxidative fibers happening there. And that's going to take us through to our VO2 max, our maximal aerobic capacity. Because these fibers here are working as hard as they can. These fast oxidative ones are working really fast as well. They're pumping out a lot of lactate or a lot of pyruvate that's flowing down into that aerobic energy system. And that's the maximal rate that we can uh, absorb oxygen at. Towards the end, as we approach our VO2 max, these type 2 X fibers start to become involved as well. But they really start to become involved above VO2 max. And this is, gets quite confusing for people. How can you work above VO2 max? Well, working above VO2 max is when we become 100% anaerobic. This is maximal sprinting intensity. And it's not until you get there that you actually recruit all of your type 2x muscle fibers so it needs to be a very high intensity to be able to recruit those fibers so that's a bit of an outline of what happens and this is why training intensity or training zones are so important if you want to target different areas of this curve this would be zone one zone two would be in here we'd have zone three zone four zone five up in here and then our neuromuscular sprint training on top of that. And that's why it's really important. If you want to target specific energy systems or muscle fibers to get different adaptations, we have to train at different intensities. This is why sprinters only really do maximal training because they want to train their type 2X muscle fibers. And this is why endurance athletes who spend most of their time training down here are terrible at sprinting and jumping and throwing because they don't train their type 2 X muscle fibers often and if you don't train something then you start to lose the capacity the old saying use it or lose it is very true now the final concept I wanted to touch on when it comes to muscle fibers because this is going to be an important thing for our last video is that if we can imagine we've got a type 1 muscle fiber here and a type 2 a type 2 a muscle fiber here let's say they're both working uh, really hard because we've got more mitochondria in our type 1 muscle fiber versus the type 2 muscle fiber, 
what we start to get is lactate production here, lactic acid being produced that can't go into the aerobic energy system in this fiber. So what happens is it actually gets shuttled over to these adjacent fibers here and the, the lactate can get changed back into pyruvic acid and go into the mitochondria and through the aerobic pathway of this muscle fiber. It's called the lactate shuttle. In the anaerobic glycolytic uh, video, we talked about how some of that lactate goes to the liver as well through that lactate sh shuttle and goes to the Cori cycle. But this actually happens between muscle fibers as well. So if you can imagine, you've got a lot of these muscle fibers, they produce a lot of lactate, but you've got lots of these type 1 fibers because you've been doing lots of endurance training. And then these fibers are able to suck up all of that lactate that's coming out of there and actually use it as energy for your training, which is really, really cool, or your racing. So it doesn't just build up in the blood, it actually gets used through this lactate shuttle. So there we go, that's a quick introduction to muscle fiber types. And in our last video that we'll, I'm going to do is going to be about how this all fits together. How do these energy systems fit together? How do these muscle fibers actually fit together as well when it comes to training and racing? I hope you found that useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments section below. And I will talk to you in the next video. Get out there, train hard, but most importantly... Train smart.